Hi, Bliss Carmen. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about 3D printers. Here at Bliss Carmen, we're really lucky enough to have two MakerBot 3D printers. The one in our makerspace is a Replicator 2. It's a large-scale 3D printer, and the one up in Mr. Lingley's room is a Replicator Mini. They both have their differences. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through some of the basics of using a 3D printer, and especially the technology of uh, of how it works because it's pretty cool. What I like to call a 3D printer is a computerized glue gun. So if you think about a glue gun, what a glue gun does is it takes up a piece of plastic glue, it melts it down so that when it comes out of its nozzle it's nice and hot and it's able to stick to your project. Well that's exactly what the 3D printer is doing. Both of these printers right now are heating up what's called PLA plastic and it heats it up to 230 degrees so that when it comes out it hits the cool build plates and it immediately solidifies. It hardens into whatever pattern you have programmed on your computer. The benefit of using a 3D printer is you can make some really complex objects. For instance, we have all kinds of different shapes here. You can even make shapes and objects that move about each other, which is really cool. So if you look at this print, you can see up close that there are thousands of layers built on top of each other. And so as long as your print is printing from bottom up, you can even put objects inside of other objects or objects that turn independent of their outside objects, which is really cool. So let's take a closer look at some of these builds. This 3D printer is just finishing a build right now that was very short. It, this stretch lip was created in just 25 minutes. If you have a larger object like this dinosaur head, this had to be printed off in two separate pieces because just the skull alone took five hours to print on this 3D printer. You can tell that the print capacity of this 3D printer is much larger than what this one is. So let's take a closer look at the MakerBot 2 and what it can do for you. Alright, so let's take a look at how we actually start a print on our MakerBot 2. Now, one of the great things about the MakerBot 2 is there are two ways that you can hook up to the MakerBot to send a print job to it. The first way would be to use a standard USB cable and hook a computer up and send it directly to it as if you were pin uh, printing to a normal printer. The easier way, however, is to save your job to a memory card, just like you would any digital file on for a digital camera, bring your memory card into school, or even if you have your print job on a USB key, bring your project into the school and we'll copy it onto the MakerBot scan disk card, and it's simple to just drop it into the slot, push it into the place, and now we can print your job from the 3D printer directly. Okay. As you may have heard, out there online, there's a whole community of makers who are creating brilliant 3D prints that are all ready to send to our either our MakerBot uh, Mini or our Replicator 2. Now those are all stored online and they are free of charge. So what I'd like to do right now is take you through how to log on to Thingiverse and download a print, save it onto our cards, and get ready to send it to the 3D printer. Now it is important to remember that you can do this at home. If you were looking um, to print something off at school, the best idea would be for you to find it at home, bring it in, and to load it onto the cards. An important thing to remember is that Thingiverse only works on Google Chrome. So make sure that you download Google Chrome, it is free of charge, and then you're ready to log on to Thingiverse. So now we're, on, uh, we're logged on to Thingiverse.com. One of the best ways to find what it is that you are looking for is to type it into the search bar up here. I'm a math teacher, so what I like to do is I like to look at the 3D printable items that I can print off and use in my classroom. We talk a lot about number lines in math, and so if I was to print off a number line, all I would have to do is come over here, 
click on that number line and say, hey, that's pretty cool. I have the numbers, I have the uh, indicator. And over here on the right hand side, it says download this. So now that we're ready to export the file, I'm going to grab the memory card from the 3D printer and I'm going to spin the laptop around so that I can clearly see where the memory card slot is. So I can clearly see where the memory card slot is and I'm going to insert it into the computer. Some of the student laptops may have the memory card port on the front. You'll just have to locate it on your own. Now I'm ready to export it and I need to find that memory card that I just inserted into the computer. If I look underneath computer, I'm going to see it here as SD, scan disk, and I'll double click on it, is I just hit save, and it's copying the file, it's exporting the file to the memory card, and I'm ready to print. Now that I can just take that card, and I can pull it out of the slot, and put it back into my MakerBot, and I'm ready to search for my job in print. Alrighty. Um, getting your job off the bill plate can be a little difficult. So what I have here is I have a standard putty knife and we're going to very carefully pry this job off the bill plate making sure that we try not to scratch the bill plate itself. So what we can do is we can just pry this underneath one end the faster that you do this after your print, the better, the easier it comes off of the plate. So simply pry your putty knife underneath it, lift up a little bit, bring your putty knife around, lift up once again, and for a third time, now you can just pull it directly off of the build plate. Sometimes if you have a relatively large build and you can't pry it off of the plate without hitting the extruder heads, what we want to do is we want to push back on the build plate, you're not going to break anything, and lift up slide it out, and now you can carry this build plate around and you can easily pry it off with your putty knife. Here at Bliss Carmen, you can tell that we're very excited to see what our students are going to create with our 3D printers. We have many colors of filament coming in. Um, get out there, create, and go ahead and watch the video on how to create using Tinkercad.com. The world is your oyster. Use your imagination. Let's get out there and make something.